Good afternoon. The first item of business this afternoon is time for reflection. Our time for reflection leader today is the very Reverend Monsignor Alan Chambers, St David's Catholic Church, Dalkeith. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I wish to extend my thanks to the presiding officer and to Mr Colin Beattie for their kind invitation extended to me to offer this time for reflection. We who are engaged in working uh, with others in our capacity as members of the Scottish Parliament or priests or ministers of religion always have a story to tell that can at times lighten our less bright days. What follows is a true story and while I was not central to it, was part of it from the sidelines, sometimes a very good place to be. Over and above my parish work, I'm also part of the chaplaincy team at Her Majesty's Prison Edinburgh. A few years ago, while we were all taking part in an Advent service for the prisoners, led by one of the chaplaincy team, there was an attempt made to engage the congregation present, all who were prisoners or staff, in a dialogue. The question was asked of the group, could anyone give three words which would best sum up the forthcoming Christmas celebrations. There was a very long, long period of silence which bordered on the uncomfortable. And eventually, one of our much older guests put up his hand and said, I'll give you three words. And at that, a look of trepidation passed among the members of the chaplaincy team because we knew this gentleman well. Then we heard the voice announce his three words, let me boot. I have often reflected on that night, on its humour, on the degree of poignancy, but surprisingly also on the accuracy of that statement. The chaplain, of course, leading the service was looking for another three words, Jesus is born. Perhaps on further reflection, there is no contradiction in either statement. However we engage in the work we do as members of the Scottish Parliament or as members of religion of whatever denomination, essentially we seek the same purpose. And that purpose, simply put, is to enhance the quality and the dignity of the lives we seek to serve or to minister to. Clearly, for someone like myself, engaged in the proclamation of the gospel, it is rooted in the teaching of Jesus Christ. For others, it may be rooted simply in the belief of the good of humanity. What we have in common, then, is an honest and deep desire to make the lives of all those who are trapped in poverty, in homelessness, in addiction, or in mental illness, better. Therefore, Perhaps the old prisoner's words did in fact contain quite a bit of wisdom and hopefully will still cause us daily to reflect on the fact we have the ability to liberate and to make better the lives of those who feel trapped or who are in despair. That, ladies and gentlemen, may I respectfully suggest to you is our common mission and purpose. I thank you. Thank you.